everyone, it's Desiree and I am here with Birch Press Design. We are going to pull in something old and play with something new today. So I am still addicted to the Contour Layers collection that they recently released. I'm going to pull in Tranquility. I love that top layer and what that does. And we're going to create, use that Tranquility as a wreath. Let's start out with our sentiment. I've chosen the Hello Honey script by Birch Press and I've cut the cloud and the word itself three times from an ivory cardstock and also a craft cardstock. The craft cardstock that I'm using is by Recollection. I do like their craft. It looks like a paper bag that you would have. So I do like that color of craft cardstock. When it comes to the uh, Tranquility die, it has a center to it as well and that can be separate I'm not using that part I'm only using the ring so when it comes to the base uh, layer C I die cut that three times layer B I die cut two times layer A once yes I'm not sure how I did that but that's what I did this is the top layer it's absolutely gorgeous um, very detailed and when you set it on top of the layer B those little curly cues there um, they really they kind of add an accent to the opening that's underneath it which I think is great very unique I'm then going to put the second layer of layer B on there and then that's all going to go on top of the third layer so Again, sticking with the cream or ivory cardstock and that craft. Not every layer has to be a different color. So using the same tones between those two gives it just a little bit of a dimensional look. And then adding that craft behind it helps it to stand out off of the white background that we're going to put it on. The flowers that I'm using are called star flowers. And I love the name of the leaves. Fuddled leaf. Fuddle. Fuddle. <laughs> I could say that all day. Fuddled. <laughs> but that's what they're called. Fuddled leaf branches. When it comes to the star flowers, they have this center. So I went with a peach and a pink color. Now, what's great is with the dyes that Birch Press has designed, there is a score line that shows where that second piece goes on top of it. Um, I actually chose to look at the center. That center was set at a certain angle, and that's what I used to layer them up. The leaves look absolutely gorgeous. I cut these in four different shades of green. Now, here is my tip. So see how nice this is all laid out? You want to do that when you're die cutting. Okay, so after you die cut these, immediately start laying them out. Do not put them in a little tiny cup because then it'll take you forever to find each one and where they go. I'm just learn from my mistakes and my creativity wonders. Yes, it did. Took me a while and I did not want you all to see all of that because you would have been like, what is she doing? So I cut all that out. I lined them up nicely so that we could just start right in into the gluing. <laughs> it was fun. But it is a suggestion. There's, these are a lot of tiny little fiddly pieces. They look great. They add wonderful, a wonderful image to uh, the leaves. Again, it's a different look in layering, at least I think. Um, but they do add a lot of dimension to them. So you can see I have a darker set and a lighter set that just went flying across there. All right, so let's start building our card front. So the sentiment's going to go down onto the bottom, and this wreath, and that's what I'm calling it, I'm calling it a wreath, is going to sit just a little bit higher. I'm playing with the placement of my stems and leaves now, um, and just having them go along the curve. I'm not worried about where they're meeting at that point on the bottom. Don't get me wrong, these leaves just on this look absolutely great. I'm just saying. Um, but I'm going to cover that up with one of the flowers. At the last minute, I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute, I want to prop this wreath up. So I'm going to real quick add some double-sided foam squares 
and set those into the larger area and now set that back down onto my panel. Again, just a little bit more dimension, um, especially when you're having a wreath because there's just so much going on there. Keeping the short ones to the one side, because again, the shorter ones are curving up towards the right, and then the larger ones are curving up towards on the left-hand side. So I wanted to keep them the same. So when it comes to this larger one, I'm actually trimming that down. I do keep those bits though and put those in the pots, the pot of my all my extra die cuts to have fun with, because I'm sure I'll be able to take those off and put it on something. Um, I'm going to prop up the sentiment as well uh, using double-sided foam squares. And you can see we have that leaf building off of the ring that we have from Tranquility, that layered die set. But we didn't lose that layered die set. We can still see that. It's still popping out of that one corner. And I think it's great because it has that centerpiece that can come out or you don't have to use it. All right, so you get these double layered pieces um, within these sets. I'm placing my flowers down. I'm using two of the larger ones and I'm gonna fill in with three of the smaller ones. Now, if you don't wanna use this many flowers, you don't have to. I always over die cut because I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I gonna use all the flowers? Am I gonna use less flowers? And I don't know that until I see it. Um, so that's why I will always over die cut. Again, coming in with my sparkle pen to the centers of those flowers. I'm going to set this down onto a cream four and a quarter by five and a half base. And I do set that up onto my standard A2 size card base. Coming in with some of my Gold Luxe Nouveau Dream Drops just for the center of the flowers to add even more shimmer. So I hope I, you enjoyed today's uh, project with Birch Press Design featuring the old and the new and seeing how they can work together and again, stretching those dies to create something else. The products I use will be listed down below with affiliate links and that means when you use that link to make a purchase, I receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and by all means, hit that bell so that you can be notified when the next video is live. I do post here regularly each week. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your crafty space. Take time for yourself to be creative and create your art. But always remember what's most important, which will help you get into that space. Always be creative, everyone, each and every day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.